Hey guys, Lord Naren White here, the Holy Ghost, the one true God. Back with you with the next video in my Europa Universalis 4 playlist. Today, continuing now, where I left off in Campaign 7 with Castile, where unfortunately, after our royal line uh, died, uh, and we were royal married to Aragon, uh, we are now vassals to them, and we have to fight a war to break free from vassalage. So, let's go ahead and begin the war. We have a Merc company here. So let's begin on um, the first phase of the war. Okay. So that should be pretty good. Just looting up the gold as well. Okay. Gold is gone from there, so let's loot once more here. The gold gone from there. It's actually proven to be quite difficult to track this army down.
Or we're proving to be quite difficult, but doing well. Oh, morale of armies is huge. I'm going up against quite a few countries alone. This is crazy, just trying to chase down this guy. He's not going to meet us in a fight, so you can see like what the heck is happening here. I'm trying to chase down this main army from Aragon badly. Dude, what the heck is going on? And then he's just gonna slip away. I've just gotta keep going for now. I'm not sure if I can build more or what, but yeah. I'm not going to just yet oh, for the cost sake. Here we go, here we go. What is going on, man? I mean, seriously, like, how is this guy just running all over the freaking place? There we go. I'm finally able to meet him in a pitched battle. And we get the, the win there. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't blame him. We have superior numbers, so. It just is what it is, you know? Here's what I'm thinking. They just produce all that, we get another idea. No, war exhaustion is fine. I would seize land actually if I could, but not right now. Alright, there it goes. So they still haven't sued for peace, which tells me pretty much all I need to know. Which is that they do not have intention of suing for peace, so... I mean, let's just continue to push for now into the land, because we're winning, so... Win.
Uh oh. Let's send one of the to face this threat. This is crazy. We finally meet them in another battle and we win. So we take Leon. So we've won here. Um, we've won. The thing is, I think we could win more. Because I have the gold. So as long as I have the gold, I can keep fueling this army. So I'm going to keep going. I'm going to decline for now. I mean, that's my that's my thought, basically, it is. Is I'm the one who has the higher manpower and the higher gold. So... They're at war with Albania and Venice. Ottoman is requesting military access for us. That seems like a mistake. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go ahead and not let them in. So that's that's for me for sure. So, yeah. And take the remaining 9,000 men here and try. Let's send these 17,000 here and let's send these 9,000 here. Well, I do not know what to say. Let's see if we can meet each other here. Here, here, here. We have an opportunity to double team this army huge. Let's do that then. Huge opportunity to push forward here. They're sieging it, so we should be able to meet them in a battle, and we do. And they're fighting again! That's amazing. Because we want to fight with a huge numerical advantage, so... Like, I really don't know where all these people are coming from, but... And another big win here. I think it's almost time to sue for peace. Just saying, thinking out loud to myself, we're in a really good position. I have no more manpower. That's kind of the issue that I'm facing. Is if we see an army, we need to go. We need to sue for peace, pretty much. Peace offer from Venice. We'll see Alicante and Cala too, dude. That's what I'm talking about here. Now with no manpower, I'm gonna take this as a victory. So we grant independence, and we get Alicante, and uh, Catalayud. Let's accept. Well done. Well done. Absolutely well done. Um, that is like everything you could expect from a war there. 
So Aragon is my rival. Uh, it looks like I've clearly gone the military route here. So I'm going to look to form Spain in terms of pushing Aragon out of the Iberian Peninsula. Get our manpower up and get that done. Morocco. Just get the Mamluks for sure. They're further away, so. Uh, Morocco. Okay. War exhaustion quite high. We definitely could afford to reduce war exhaustion, and I do a little bit there. Um, thing is, I'm not really going to give my guy Iberian Wedding. Make Aragon a junior partner. Interesting. Um, thing is, I want to fight Aragon. So, I don't really think that we should wed. Who's our... Who's our King Juan? No. Yeah, I'm also paying too much gold now to maintain this army, so... Let's go ahead here and... Um, Select uh, this unit here. Independent army here. Disband the Merc Company. And get all our guys home to Toledo. And so, I mean, absolutely excellent job. We need to make Katalayuna an Alicante course. We need to make them a core. So we need to make those core provinces. You see, I can no longer make a core on this province. So yeah. Uh, so that's how we can grow in a stable way. Because if you take a look now at my income, it's booming again. So that's exactly what I'm talking about. La Mancha gold mine has put an amazing source of income. So merge everything together. Look at what we got. We got 33 regiments and five. So See, it's quite difficult at this point, but yeah, things are going well. We've suffered a lot of casualties on the battlefield, but we cannot complain about the position we're in. Um, for me here, I'm very happy. Okay, well that war is coming at the worst possible time. Do we have any allies who would fight with us against Morocco? We have no allies at all. So. All right, well, how's this gonna go? Nine thousand Moroccans landed our shores, so gonna actually have to hire somebody again. So thirty-four thousand strong from the Grand Company here, and we'll send our first wave of men forward in the meantime to face the threat. We lose a tough battle there, which is really painful. And uh, it's not going great here. And even though I think it's possible, uh, I'm going to go ahead and end this campaign here. Because this was very unfortunate timing for me. 
to be invaded by Morocco. Um, because the the only option I have pretty much now is I have to keep hiring Merc companies, right? Like, I don't know how I can summon the men otherwise to fight this off. I mean, it's possible. I can try for a little bit more. I mean, let me see. I'm not, like, opposed to trying. You know? Like... And then obviously take the burger loans. I'm definitely not opposed to trying. I just didn't get as much time as I would have thought to be diplomatic about things, because we got that PU from Aragon from the beginning. So that's actually probably my mistake. Is I actually like don't want to engage in royal marriages, I'm finding. I mean, on the strength of these mercs, it may still be doable. Like, I think we could repel them out, but I don't honestly know what will happen. I'm not trying to quit, I'm just objectively saying this is a more difficult position, because we get a PU, which was disadvantageous. It's not something that happens every beginning, right, so... Yeah, I mean, the thing is, we're doing really well, so... We can actually move our main force here into Gibraltar. So we gain Kataliud and Alicant. So let's have the Swiss Guard go. Like, we literally have, like, none of our own men. We're using three Merc companies. Um... I think I had no idea what will happen, so yeah. Okay. Alright. Separatists in Granada. That is horrible timing. We need to deal with that now. Jesus Christ, man. Look at the numbers of these Moroccans flooding in here. It's amazing. Come on, man. That's crazy, man. Honestly. It's, come on. It's just such a bad time for me, too. So we win a really important fight here, because... Let me force them back over the Gibraltar. I mean, honestly, this is like unreal right now. Uh oh, you see the Muslims are marshalling up again for another push. I was thinking maybe they won't push that spot, but that was favorable thinking, eh? So let's get everything together that we got. Oh my goodness gracious, man. Is there anything else we can get? Like another Merc company, maybe? So let's spawn that Merc company there. Honestly, the thing is, I'm happy to give up some time um, for this uh, Merc company here. What? Oh, show me here. What is this? What? 
what it is. That doesn't make any sense. Um, this is pretty crazy, honestly. Um, we have a battle on our hands here. So we are most certainly going to lose this battle here. But we do get these 17,000 men to show up here. And now it's also time to produce our own guys as well. Okay. So they're going for the capital of Toledo, and we're going to siege these guys out of Granada first. Take a, so a hugely superior battle here numerically. So, in a bad position, but we're getting our guys to push back here. These mercs, I mean, like, I really don't even care what happens to them, right? Like, <laughs> I mean, we're, we're like, like, they're willing to fight for the gold, so we're going to, uh, we're going to do that, so, yeah. And those are mercs for you, so. What's crazy is, like, how close Morocco is to not winning this war period, even though they started it at such an opportune time. Like, that's, like, how good Castile is, you know? Castile is actually just really good. Like, obviously, credit to the Moroccans for pouncing it when the opportunity was there. Uh, that was a great decision for them, so. Oh, and a, and a revolt. And a revolt of peasants. I This is going to probably spell death for this campaign. I mean, honestly, like, I don't even know, like, how, like, one group can have to fight through so much. Uh, this is going to be, I think, the death knell here. So we win the battle here, and we send the Moroccans back over the border. Um, so we lose the Battle of La Mancha. But point blank, are uh, we must keep attacking? Yeah. Um, can I produce any more men? I seemingly can. I'll definitely have to keep producing at this point. So we've got to push together here and clear this land of peasants. And with a war score of minus 24, it's going to be close. So we get a win here against these peasants. Uh, but I don't think we can push the ones there, so let's just hold Gibraltar for now. And they're taking Toledo. Somehow they're able to push across there. We lose that battle somehow, what? I mean, probably we may have... To, I was even thinking we might, if we could actually get an upper hand on the Moroccans, that uh, we could, um, you know, keep pushing, but it, it, uh, it it's clearly like unlikely that we're going to be able to do that, so. I mean, look at how bloody this battle is. That's got to be one of the toughest losses we've had there. I don't know if the Moroccans have had reinforcements or what we won. Oh my god, what is going on, dude? Jeez Louise, man. This is crazy. I mean, we'll, and we'll deal with that when we can. Yeah, they are just throwing super heavy numbers in there. We should have more men coming in, thank goodness, but uh, this has just been so difficult, so. Hire another Merc company. We need, like, a huge hire. 20,000 men, that'll help. So I've absolutely bankrupted myself. We lose the Battle of Gibraltar there. So the Mercs send, uh, the Moroccans send my men scattering there, and uh, yeah. We win Sevilla, 
At this point, there may just be too many men for us, I think. I mean, because I'm trying to deal with the peasants last, because the Moroccans are just... I mean, they're, they are literally our rivals, so I'm trying to deal with them first. Oh man, this is crazy, I gotta be honest. Absolutely crazy, man. I mean, like, because we have to actually face these noble rebels, and, like, they're not gonna be a joke, so. Let's try and hold Gibraltar for now, because I think someone is gonna push back, so. Let's see here. A peace offer from Morocco. We'll see Gibraltar, Granada, Alicante, Gran Canaria, and Malaga to Morocco. No chance. We have a better chance just pushing across at this point. But we still have to fight these rebels, which has proven to be the biggest issue we faced here. Uh, had I looked at that in spite of the in, like during the war, I probably would have been able to uh, deal with it. But I think at this point, probably one of the best decisions I can make is to uh, just do the best I can with what I got because um, this place is no joke. So let's actually try and clear these rebels out. Okay, one second. So the rebels are going over here now. I don't want to think about royal marriage right now. And the Moroccan forces are back there, so we need to head them head them off here. so unfortunate for me. I would have actually been able to push back against the Moroccans. At this point, the sheer amount of civil unrest is like completely off the chain. White piece. Yeah, at this point, I've got to accept the white piece. Uh, it's tough, but I mean, what the heck are you going to do at this point, you know? I should be losing a ton of money. Look at my balance. Because of this La Mancha gold mine, I've been able to actually avoid taking debt this whole time. Okay, so I do take a loan there, finally. Yeah, we need to actually just take this fight head on now. It's going to be close, let's see. After all that, I would say that this campaign is still playable. I mean, seriously. Man. Yeah, so the first thing is, um,
You know, what's interesting is I'm still thinking about ending this uh, campaign um, on the fact that I'm just too deep in debt, I feel, um, at this point. So, let's just go one month and I can see how many loans I have. Let's just take a look here. Uh, quite a few loans now. Um, this was a very promising start. It showed me militarily what I could do. But I will end the campaign here. Uh, because that Moroccan war, the peasant rebellion, the fights with Aragon. They've really drained the promise of this campaign <laughs> over time. Because uh, it's just been, I think, too much fighting. Um, like for this nation to support. Um, uh, you know, like just the constant, like, like think about invading Portugal right now. They're like suffering with these rebels. Like, it's just terrible. So I'm <laughs> actually doing like a, an amazing hold, honestly, against Morocco, just to prove that we could hold. And eventually, even though they still were winning, um, they offered us the white piece, and uh, so we 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 gratefully accepted this white piece. And uh, with that, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Uh, and so with that, I want to say thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe as it greatly helps the channel. Light be with you all. Take care and thanks again.